it's not all fun and games anymore. In the uncharted virtual landscape, many unsuspecting gamers are discovering Ooh. a whole new world of hurt. They say things about your mother, and, and I, the most derogatory thing is about race and, of course, homosexuality. Studies show 94% of players report hearing hate speech while gaming, mostly against players who are female or gay. Teresa, she withheld her name, says she and her partner were verbally abused and stalked by other gamers who knew they were lesbians. They basically said, just like, who do we think we are? They uh, also did, I guess you could say almost sexual acts, like a simulated, like a sexual assault. When Teresa complained, Microsoft pulled the plug on her, suspending her account, saying the profile information she had posted was offensive. Under Microsoft's current policy, any language referring to sexuality is taboo. That means even people with the word gay in their names are blocked. That's, that's, um, that's a cop out. The, they know this goes on. They know all this, this hate and homophobia goes on. And I don't feel that they've taken any steps to even try to combat it and change it. Microsoft says they're now currently reviewing their approach and working with organizations like GLAD to address the issue. In the meantime, gamers like Teresa play at their own risk. Shamian Antoine, CBS News, New York.